Hello everyone, today we're going to be making a microbit car using some joysticks and microbit's cutebot module. For this project you're going to need the module, a couple of batteries, um, some time to assemble this and watch the video and follow along, two microbits, some, some wires and a joystick along with the extension as you'll see in later in the video S but yeah let's get started okay so here's some information about the joystick we have some pictures this is uh, what we're going to be using you can see that there are five fans we won't be using the last one and uh, the first one is ground the second one is the voltage the third one is the X and the fourth one is the Y. Now here's w how it works from the inside. You have the volt and the ground outside here and then we have two variable resistors. If you're moving less left and up, there's going to be less resistance compared to right and down. This helps t the computer know whether you're going up, left, down, or right. And now here's how we connect them. The grounds connect with each other and the same with the volts. The X connects with pin 0 and the Y connect with pin 1. And we're just going to leave this empty as I said before because we won't use it SW. So yeah, that's how joysticks work. We're first going to be doing the joystick. So we're going to be setting the group to 1. So it's going to send things on group one and there's actually up to 255 groups that you can send but we're just gonna keep it out of one now let's I've made some variables called X and Z let's set those to zero and now go to the advanced and click on the pins you're going to see the map Grab the giant circle and put them in the X and the Z. We're going to keep every single value the same except for the map part. Grab an analog read pin. And if you want to understand what the, the difference between the analog and the digital, go watch our video about them. But anyways, we're going to have read pin 0 and read pin 1 inside of the maps. And if you try to test it out, if you like try to print X and Z, you're going to see that it's very long string. So instead, what we're just going to do is go to math and we're just going to round this. Now it's much shorter. And now we're going to have some if else's. We're going to need five of these. So click on the plus until you have one, two, three, four, five. Now what we want to do here is set some values. If X is equal to zero, make sure that you grab the first one, not the third one. The difference is that this is a number and that one's the string. So, and since like X is going to be a number currently, it's going to compare to another number. So we're going to keep this as zero because from low, it's going to give us zero to high is four. So zero to four is max. Uh, so let's copy this and let's put in four here and then do the exact same with the Z. So yeah, we have the 0, 4 for X's and the 0, 4 for the Z's. And what we're going to put inside of here are some arrows. So these arrows will just tell you who's controlling which way that you're using it. So I'm just going to be doing this. While you're waiting for me to finish, if you enjoy the video at any moment, Hit the like and subscribe button. 
but if you think that your friends are also going to enjoy it, hit the share button and share it with them. That'll help us a lot. So, you don't need to actually do this part. But, like, if you want to, you can do this. Okay, so now I am done. So, we've just put in the arrows and we have some things for where we're not moving up, left, down, right. So, yeah, we are now done with the joystick. Now, we just need to just send the X and Z, but we don't want to send in two at once. We want to combine them into like one single package. Luckily, there's the text, and we can join X and Z. X and Z. Okay. And this will just count as a string, so when you need to send it, you need to send a string, not a number. So now we're done. Let's get to the receiver. So I have this new tab for the receiver. And in this one, we just have, let's have like a sm icon. Let's go with like a smiley face or like a sleepy face. Either one of those are fine. And we also need to set the group to one or whatever your group number was. In this case, mine was one. And I'll have it pause for like 500 milliseconds so it can get like booted up. And we won't need the forever loop for this. Instead, we're going to be using the radio that receives string. Since we sent a string here, we're going to receive a string here. And let's just have a variable called x and a variable called z. These two will be very helpful for when you get the, the next part. And you'll see why. So set the x and the z. And we're just going to get the substring of the received strings. So go to text and then put in the substring. Put in the receive string and set it to zero and one and stick that into the X. And then do the exact same thing for the Z except to make it one and two. Now we just need to do five of these. So three, four, five, okay. So now we need to do the cute bot movement. For this, we're just going to go to extensions and click on the cute bot. You can just search it up or if it's in the home page thing, you can just click on it. And you'll see that there's two things, cute bot and NeoPixel. We won't be using NeoPixel, but if you want to, you can just explore this. There's so many cool things that you can do. And you can also experiment with the cute bot before you do this. But if you want to, you can do it while you're doing it just right now, so. We will have X, and we're going to set string, make sure, and we're going to set this to zero. Now, you may be wondering, why not use the number? Well, this is because we sent in a string of zero for, like, X, so we need to compare to a string. And then we're going to do the same thing except with four. And now we just need to do Z's. Okay. So, we're going to now set the left wheel speed. You can set it to whatever you want, but I prefer negative 40. I feel like that that's the best speed. And for the right wheel, we're going to set it to 40. And now for number four, we're going to set this as 40 and negative 40. And for the Z's, we're going to make them go forwards and backwards. So we're going to have it go at a speed 50 for 0 0.5 seconds. 
and then we're also going to do the same thing except for backwards. And now for the else, we're just going to be doing stop the car immediately. That way, if you press something or like do the joystick, it doesn't keep doing that forever unless you change, which is not what we want because joysticks, when you go, it's going to go until you let it go. Okay, so here we have the controller, we have the cute butt, and it's also turned on with some batteries in it. So, as you can see, we have plugged them in all correctly. It's hard to see here, but this is a 3 volt, and it's connected to the 3 volts here. It's a little hard to see, but it was a red wire, and the red wire is the Volt. The ground is connected to the ground, so the black wire goes to the ground as you can barely see. And then the X and the Y pin zeros and ones are like right here. You can tell that these are going to be zeros and ones. And then the white cord is the cord that we aren't using in this video. Okay, so now let's watch it move. So you can see my joystick and you can see the cute bot and it's turned on. So if I turn it here, it's going to turn left. There is a small delay. And then the same thing for the right. And now forwards. It's going to move forward and then if I pull it back, it's going to come back. So, you can see that it goes in all directions, but yes, that is the Microbit Robot car.